Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial. Today we'll be working on this rhinestone tumbler. It is inspired by this cup that I made last year for the 4th of July, but I wanted to do it with rhinestones instead to kind of challenge myself. So we will be using the uh, Flint Sisters Flintstones rhinestones um, along with PGL of Glitters to accomplish this. And all of my discounts will be linked in the description box for you guys as well. We'll start off by popping the bottom off of this Tipsy Magnolia 24 ounce travel mug. I'm just going to take my picker at a very slight angle and kind of hammer it down into um, the base and it will just pop right off of there without damaging. Next, we're gonna go in and prep and wipe off all of that um, stainless that we're gonna sand off with some rubbing alcohol. Once we've got that prepped and spray painted with white spray paint, we'll go ahead and use some flurries from Peachy Olive Glitters to get the base of this glittered. I plan to do a glitter booty on this, so I wanted to make sure that the epoxy was going to cover the base but I didn't want to get any epoxy into those little dips in the base of it because we're going to fill that with Mr. President from Peachy Olive Glitters. So just make sure you're not getting that epoxy too far down in those little crevices. After my glitter was applied using the epoxy method, I let that sit and dry for a couple of hours using the Flynn Sisters Fast Set Epoxy. And then I went and put one coat of epoxy over top of that before going in with my glitter booty. Now originally I had used about a 50-50 mix of UV resin to glitter. I ended up using probably about 15 mLs of this counterculture UV resin to about 5 mLs of Mr. President. The 50-50 was too thick of a mixture um, and so I ended up adding just a little bit more of that resin and then put that in the glitter booty portion. Um, I put it all in the center and kind of spread it outwards into the little crevice that's on the outer ring of the booty if that makes sense. Um, it was just easier for me to kind of push the glitter outward as opposed to trying to get the glitter in that little outer ring of the glitter booty um, to begin with. So it kind of avoided a lot of overfill, if you will. Um, I just have a really hard time trying to get it in that tiny little crack right there. So I figured kind of scooping it out into the outer center or the outer center the outer um, portion of that um, from the center would be the easiest thing and then of course don't forget to torch before you are going to cure this with your uv light i tap my cup down on the table just to kind of push up any bubbles that are trapped underneath the glitter I cured that glitter and resin mixture twice at 99 seconds until it was completely dry to the touch. And then I put a little bit of just clear resin over top of it to seal everything in. That was just on the bottom portion of this cup. I didn't put any of that on the white glitter. Cured that for another 99 seconds and then we were ready to start on the rhinestones. And you guys, I'm sorry this tutorial is a little bit longer than normal. This was about five hours worth of filming condensed down into 25 minutes. So I'm pretty impressed if I do say so myself. I made my own custom rhinestone mix using all Flint Sister Supply Shop rhinestones. I do have a discount code for you guys for the rhinestones, as well as all of her stuff in her uh, Flint Sister Supply Shop. So I used equal parts of Red Siam, Crystal, and Montana in the multi-size packs. That is going to give you a wide variety of sizes so you can do the scatter method. 
I'm gonna start laying these rhinestones right along the top rim, leaving just a very tiny gap at the top, just to ensure that they're not coming up over the edge and stopping the lid from being secured onto that tumbler. So this first row of rhinestones, we want to make sure that they are completely pushed together. There are no gaps between the rhinestones that you've got going on here. And then we'll cascade them down kind of like a waterfall as we go down. Just a pro tip, if you get to the end of your rhinestones meeting up and they don't meet up exactly, you can just readjust them a little bit so they're spread out. Nobody will ever be able to tell. While the top row is setting up and curing on the glue, I'm gonna go down to the base where I want to start laying out a roadmap of where I want my waterfall to kind of cascade down into and to the stopping point. So I'm going to work with the smallest stones that I have towards the bottom, because if you think about an ombre or a waterfall, it's gonna cascade down and this, the glitter would get smaller or it would be less um, at the bottom of that ombre or at that waterfall. And so we wanna use smaller stones towards the end of it. And then you'll see as we work our way um, from top to bottom, they kind of go from bigger stones to smaller stones as we go down. I do want to mention that I'm spreading these out really far at the beginning because it's way easier to go back and to add rhinestones to the waterfall as opposed to picking them off and taking them away. I ended up having to do that to a couple of them at the end because I got heavy handed. Um, and just kind of overestimated the amount of stones that I wanted. So definitely start out with less. It's completely possible to add stones to it, but because we're using this on a glittered base and it's just going to be kind of wide out in the open for everybody to see, um, there's a chance that if that glue cures that you're going to be able to see where you had picked it off. So definitely don't be heavy handed on this. Just add as you go. Keep pulling your cup back, looking at it from afar to kind of gauge where you need to add your stones in um, or where you need to readjust things and just go from there. I completely forgot to mention this. I'm using Liquid Fusion for my glue and I have used this for probably about two years now. Um, I have never sold rhinestone cups, so all of the stone cups I've done have been my own personal cups. And the only time I've had stones fall off of my cup is when I yeeted my cup out of my Jeep <laughs> across the parking lot. And even then I only lost three stones. So definitely would recommend Liquid Fusion if you're looking for a good glue that you can be confident that your stones are secure uh, and won't fall off. Um, and then I would also recommend using some toy type of like a needle nose squeeze bottle. Um, you don't want to use a lot of glue when you're setting these stones down. Uh, not just because it's going to squeeze out around the edges of the rhinestones, but also because while you're rotating this on this little bow and turner here um, or on your hand, if you've got too much glue, it's going to tend to either move sideways and fall down the cup or it's going to fall, if you're holding it upright, down the cup in make a mess so definitely would recommend doing that um also not do <laughs> not doing that um just be very cautious with your glue is, is all i'm saying so i did a second row of really compacted rhinestones and i made a mistake in hindsight i would have done just one solid row of rhinestones on the top rim and then immediately started into cascading. I think I overestimated the amount of real estate that I had to work with and to cascade down um, the, the rhinestones. And so I should have scattered that second row immediately. If you're working with a taller cup, you could probably get away with two or three 
um, condensed rows of rhinestones but if you're working with a shorter tumbler and a shorter base obviously you've got a lot less space to work with I guess to make sure your ombre or your waterfall actually looks like it's ombreing down your cup um, you want to make sure there are no like harsh lines or anything like that so I really had to work hard to make sure um, that that blended really well it didn't look like it was a harsh line or like it was a mistake on the cup um, so just keep that in mind if you're working on a short base like this um, like I said less is more so you can always go back and add I definitely would recommend starting with just one row um, and then kind of cascading down and filling in as you go you'll also notice while this is playing through as I'm going up the cup towards the top rim my rhinestones are getting bigger and closer together this is just starting the roadmap for me to work on this waterfall I'm gonna let this play through so you guys can watch how I accomplish this fade. This is more of a visual type of tutorial as opposed to me giving you pointers through a voiceover. So I'll let you guys kind of see how I cascade this down into an ombre or a waterfall um, and how I build up kind of the fill of the rhinestones towards the top. So I'll let this play through and I will see you guys at the end.
Okay, I'm back. <laughs> So now that I've got all of the rhinestones kind of faded how I want them to be, I'm just going in towards the very bottom and using the smallest stone size possible. I want to say it's like SS6 or 4 or something. Uh, and just kind of want to fill in a little bit more towards the bottom. Um, I ended up overfilling this part. This is where I had mentioned that I was picking um, the rhinestones off after I was done filming. So. Um, I went just a little bit too far down the cup, a little bit more than I wanted to, so I put them on, ended up picking them off, uh, and then you guys saw the end result that we were left with in the beginning of the video. So, that is all I have for you guys today. This does not need to be coated with epoxy, FYI. Please don't do that because then you are going to have rhinestones that aren't shiny. So, <laughs> don't do that. They just need to be left out in the open, unepoxied. Uh, but let me know what you guys thought in the comments. This is a little bit different than normal. I know rhinestones take like a gazillion years to do. Uh, so let me know what you thought. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit the bell button if you want to get notified of future tutorials. And I will see you guys next weekend for an extra special tutorial.